Uh, today we're going to uh, continue to work on our budget form. Uh, if you remember the last video we did, we talked about uh, things from housing to maintenance to furniture. Uh, we picked up uh, lawn maintenance. We talked about that. If you're in an apartment or something like that, you don't have to worry about that, uh, about house maintenance or uh, lawn maintenance. Uh, line 15 down here, we had uh, um, seven cents a square foot for, for electricity. So you need to find the square foot of the apartment or the house you're renting, multiply it times 0 0.07, and that should give you about the average. Now, again, we talked for a few minutes in class about the fact um, that you have months that are a little bit larger. So you need to make certain you add about 30% into those months of, of June, July, August, uh, because those are our hottest months. Uh, and so that takes care of line 15. Line 16, let's just pretend you don't have natural gas. Water, sewage, uh, or water and sewage, let's put $20 a month down for it. So uh, so here you are on, on water. You can put about uh, uh, 20 and you just keep putting those out there. Uh, or you can duplicate them, whatever, whatever you need to do there. Um, so then we're going to pick up and we're going to come to insurance. Now, if you are owning a house, if, you, if you're purchasing a house, you need to get uh, insurance. If you are renting, you need to get insurance. Now, here's the way to figure out that insurance. So uh, uh, we're going to come out here to, uh, let me see if I can find my uh, renter's insurance. Here we go. Um, so I, I put in there, what does renter's insurance cost? And so here it is, the average cost of renter's insurance. Uh, how much is renter's in monthly insurance? Uh, it runs about $14, $15 a month. So if that's the case, then we need to come back in. We need to put that $15, uh, um, $14.95 a month and just keep posting it over and over uh, for that because that's pretty standard. Now, here's another one of those funds. Just like we looked at housing previously, uh, I want you to also look at now finding a car. And when you find a car, we're going to add it to it. You're going to tell me the kind of car and the year and all that you're going to buy. Um, and so, um, oops, did I get rid of I didn't mean to do that. So let's get rid of that. Uh, so you might tell me here uh, that you bought a, um, a uh, Ford, F-150, if you're going to drive a pickup truck or whatever, okay? So you're going to put it in there and tell me what you bought. Then you're going to go out here and you're going to find that car. So here we are, cars for sale. Uh, and there are lots of places you can start hunting for a car. Um, let's get out here on autotrader.com uh, real quick. And I'm going to search for a Ford and I'm going to, uh, search for a, come on, search for Ford. Let's see if we can get it. Ford, or Ford F-150. There it is. So I'm going to just click on that. And it's going to uh, um, show payments. I want to show payments so we'll know what, what those payments are going to be, hopefully. Um, and let's go for the used ones. Buying new is kind of crazy, depreciates pretty quick. And so here we go. We're looking at some used ones. Now, remember, um, you're going to have uh, different costs and all. Here's how much it is, $547 a month. So you might have stopped and think, how much money do you really have? So start looking for that car, uh, the car that you like. And remember, this may be a car that you have that you have to drive now so you can afford a car that you want to drive later so sometimes it's better to buy that cheaper car instead of putting all your money into a car because the value of a car goes down uh very quickly and so in five years that car is not worth much you can't sell it for nearly what you put into it so you might consider looking for a truck here's a 2012 uh, for 19,000 it's $278 a month. So let's let's say that's the one we bought. So we bought an uh, F-150 XLT. Um, and so I might, you know, so I'm gonna come over here to my thing. I'm gonna put in here, 
um, Ford um, F-150 uh, XLT, and that payment was $289 a month. So now I'm going to have to copy that and put that all the way over there. Once you pick your car and you do a little thing on, on how much it's going to cost, what is gasoline? So how much... How much do people normally spend on gasoline in America? The average one spends a little less than $2,000 a year. Now, it depends on how far you drive. Uh, I drive, do drive an F-150, an older one. Uh, don't get good gas mileage. And so I spend about, uh, about $2,400 a year. Uh, maybe not quite that. I probably spend about that much in gas because I spend about $50 a week on gas from where I drive to get to school. So for me, that's what I put, or you can put, you can come back in here and put the 164 that you found and you can put them all out there. Now maintenance is the difficult thing. We've got to stop and think, if we're not buying a brand new car, we're going to have more maintenance. A, a, a new car is going to have less maintenance, but it's going to cost you a lot more. You're going to have to do things like change the oil. How often do you change the oil? If you're like my wife, man, it's 3,000 miles. She doesn't hit 3,001 before she's out there. If it's like me, my truck is used to about 5,000 miles changing the oil. And so we got to figure that's about 60 bucks. And how many miles are you going to drive? So about, you figure about three times a year, you're going to do that. So you got to get out there and say, okay, that's, so that's uh, three times 60, that's $180 um, that I have. And then you're going to buy tires. Uh, let's say you buy tires once a year. Hopefully you don't you do it quite as much, but we need to plan for that so that the money is there. And uh, um, I know on my truck, I spend about right at $1,000 when I have to replace all the tires in my truck. And that's everything balanced and all. And so, uh, so now we're looking at it uh, at $1,600 or, $100, or um, we're looking at, um, 1,180. And so I'm going to divide that by, um, by my, uh, by 12. So let's see what that is real quick. Uh, I gotta get my calculator out because 1,180 divided by 12. And that's about $93 a month. Well, let's also figure you're probably going to put windshield wiper blades on it and things like that. So if it's ninety three a month, let's put uh, let's let's put like maybe for me, I'd put one ten down here, and I would spread that out. Okay. Now at the end of the year, if you didn't buy tires, what you have is money saved up. So when you need to buy tires, or if something else breaks, you have some money there already set aside for that. Okay. Car insurance. Now car insurance. We're going to also do that. We're going to come back in here car insurance estimator. So we're going to come out and say, uh, you don't have to put the year in, I'm sure. Let's see what it's going to ask us. Uh, are you single married? Let's see. So I'm married. I'm going to do that. Hopefully it'll give me, I'm, I am older than you'd be younger, of course. Um, what's important to you? Low cost. You know, uh, do you own a home? No. Let's see if it's even going to give me one. I may be wasting our time. Uh, for the most expensive vehicles, you'd like to insure. Do you own lease? Uh, so obviously you're financing it. If you're doing the payments, the value of the car. So it's here. Time spent in the car, average. Uh, we'll keep going. All right. So here's here's all this. Here's what it looks like. Life events goes on. So let me put uh, 75040 and see my rate. Here's Rico, it's auto. Sure, you're going to have to do this. So uh, add it to 18. Meaning, 
Uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to keep asking me for a quote. All right, that's not going to work for us. Let's see if we can find, uh, let's see if we can find somebody. Much is car insurance monthly. Here we go. Let's see if we can find that. Um, average cost of insurance in America is about 1400 a year. Um, and so figure you're younger. So let's say 1600 a year. And so, um, so if you're 1600 a year, uh, divided by 12, you're about $133 a month for insurance. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot, but we got to have it. So 133 or $134 a month. I'm going to spread all those out there. Okay. Um, so we've done our car thing. Yay. And, uh, and now we're looking at food. How much do you think it costs you to eat a month. And you know, if it's just you thinking that how much are you going to eat out? This is where you can, you know, you can really work with your budget. Uh, you don't want to eat ramen noodles every night, but you may, especially starting out, uh, eat a little cheaper clothing. How much do you think you're going to spend on clothes a year, uh, a month? All right. So we put those out there. Laundry, if you have to have them laundered, but even going to the laundry, wash interior, you know, laundry mat, uh, there. Then we're going to come down to our phone bill. What does it cost you for your phone? So you figure about uh, $45 a month out there. And then are you going to have internet at the house, cable, TV? Uh, if you are, you're looking at, you know, you're looking at some big costs. So internet and cable, you can put those together. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that's about $90 a month. Are you going to have Netflix? What's that a month? Okay. And then going out. So I'm going to stop here. That's a lot, a lot going on here. You should be taking these and, uh, um, and posting them out here. So they're, you know, all the way out. Um, Um, and so, you know, we're turning around here. We got to get them all the way out. So let's finish, finish that one. So I didn't do the other. And so here you are, you're looking at your costs. Um, you're looking at your costs here, all right? So they all ought to be out down here. It's adding up. Here's how much money you're spending. Uh, remember y'all, you have the top part of it already, your house and all that. And so, uh, you ought to have, um, let's say down to, uh, um, stop and think. Let's, let's see if we at least get them down to, um, down to the cable bill, Netflix, uh, line 30. So you're going to have to do some research. Um, you're gonna have to talk about it, be honest with yourself, and then you're going to, um, Fill that out to see how much. Now, remember, we only have whatever dollar amount you had up in this column to deal with. So with that, remember, can't overspend. So we'll be tracking this. We've got some more things we need to put in um, that are real important, like health insurance, uh, education, pocket money, uh, savings, charitable giving, vacation, retirement, all those things you need to be funding too. Uh, but I'll show you some other ways that we might be able to do that uh, creatively too. All right, so that's your assignment. Work on that. Uh, you can uh, take a screenshot of this and, and turn it in to me when you've got it completed. Uh, or you can just turn it in and I'll keep checking on it, make certain you've shared it with me. All right, that's it. I will see you uh, next class and have a wonderful, wonderful day.